guys, so that is the pre-workout cocktail made. That was two scoops of creatine, which is gonna be about six grams of creatine, and one scoop of citrine malate, which is gonna be three grams. Um, citrine malate, some of you guys may have never heard of it. It's a type of amino acid, open up the blood vessels, actually allows the uh, blood to carry more oxygen. So double amount of oxygen, more or less, that might be a little bit of an overstatement, but more oxygen, rich blood, open up the blood vessels a little bit more so it dilates and actually allows the muscles to work harder for longer because they have more supply of oxygen rich blood. So a little fun fact for you guys. Yo, what's going on guys? Roy Welcome here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in today's YouTube video, we are basically just taking you down to the brand new gym. Um, for those of you who are new around here, I have moved to Exeter. So our brand new gym is called U7 Gym and it's absolutely unbelievable. If you haven't checked it out yet already, then be sure to check it out. Well, watch this YouTube video, uh, but there is a previous YouTube video up there, which is like a little house tour, as well as a little insight of the gym, but you're gonna get a full insight of the gym today in today's YouTube video. I would love to do like a little commentary through my workout, like as I'm working out, but I need like a little road wireless mic thing. So that's definitely on the um, on the, on the the buy list. Um, eventually, once I get some more money to be able to afford it. But for right now, we are gonna be doing it in post. So we're gonna smash out the workout and then I'm gonna be doing a little nice commentary for you guys about my workout today, which is gonna be chest and arms, uh, which is part of my, uh, part of my split for today's workout today is tuesday so tomorrow is wednesday so that normally means there's an upload but at the moment i have no internet because we recently moved into the house so again be sure to check it out link down in the description down below of the previous youtube video go check it out tell me what you think about the new house drop a like subscribe if you haven't already if you are brand new around here and uh yeah without further ado guys i'm gonna go to the car be sipping on this and yeah i'm gonna have an incredible gym workout for you guys Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video with me talking over my workout. Seems like you guys enjoy these type of videos with me working out and uh, doing a little commentary with a little bit of music behind it and just going over a little bit of the thought process behind my workout. A lot of my workouts are exactly the same because, you know, it works for me. You know, it's bread and butter. Do the exercises and get the job done. That's how I see it as. A lot of people would like to mix up their workouts, whereas with me, if I change up my workout, um, you know, I'm not going to know what I'm going to be improving on massively, you know. So starting off with the massage gun, just trying to loosen up my, uh, loosen up my muscles a little bit, have a little bit of tightness in my uh, insertion of my pectoral. So that's why I'm using the massage massage gun uh, before going into my primer set. So we started off uh, with a little bit of the tricep extensions and then going into the, um, the seated hammer press, just trying to prime the muscles, get the muscles all ready prepared for exercise, get the blood flowing um, into the muscles so that we're ready and you know truly ready for today's session. So as always on a Tuesday um, is chest day. So we're starting on bench press, 60 kg. Just wrapping out, just trying to get comfortable. Um, and again, just warming up. You know, these are still like our, our priming, if not our feeder sets to our main working sets. Today's chest session wasn't as on point as I kind of wanted to be. I felt pretty good, but like I mentioned at the start of this voiceover that um, my tightness in my chest kind of like Kind of restricted me trying to lift a little bit better and i kind of, kind of felt like i was fatiguing a lot earlier than i normally would and um, this could be potentially from the fact that you know i've recently caught covid uh, maybe about a month ago or maybe just slightly over a month ago and that completely ruined me for about you know 10 days of isolation and it you know it hit me pretty hard I'm not gonna lie to you guys and after the 10 days of isolation as you should do um you know after catching covid um you know i still felt rubbish you know additional week after that if not maybe a week and a half and i didn't train um at the gym for about three weeks and this is probably one of like if not one of my uh, first chest sessions back i think this is my second training chest session back at the gym and like right now you know at my working sets i'm doing 110 kilos um i think i hit roughly around seven reps so you know i'm still happy about hitting seven reps but normally it's a lot more easier for myself and you know you know before you know pre-covid i was pretty much repping out nine so you know i was hoping to maybe like you know 110 kilos by now you know if i could continuously train i didn't catch covid you know hopefully i could probably wrap up like you know maybe like 12 reps on this weight right now um but yeah so we did kind of like 
two uh, sets of 110. Then we kind of dropped down to 100 kilos just to get those additional reps because, oh man, I'll tell you what, I was struggling so hard. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, just, it just happens in training. You know, some days you, you train better than others, you know? Uh, and I guess it's just one of those sessions that I wasn't training uh, particularly well in my bench. So going into the incline uh, barbell press. Now, uh, I don't really do incline too much, mainly because my previous gym didn't have that great uh, facility in terms of like the incline press uh, whereas like this new gym now actually has like a decent station for it so uh, I'm going to be practicing my incline bench press a lot more now because I really want to build my upper chest and um, that's one uh, area in my chest is kind of slacking a little bit so uh, what we started off was about 60 kg and then 80 kg I believe that is or maybe 90 I'm not too sure whatever I don't know what, what I don't know what the plate was it's either 10 or 15 either side so uh, I think it was 80 kilos and I roughly was doing like 10 reps um, at this weight. Um, I wish I could do more. Uh, I probably could do more weight. But the thing is, I kind of need a spotter and I don't want to be uh, getting, getting stuck with 100 kilos on me because, you know, man, I don't want to die. You know, I, I still want to, you know, keep training and uh, eventually compete in the future. You know, there's no good uh, lifting weight and, and dying from the weight, you know. Uh, you know, you call yourself a bodybuilder dying during weight. Uh, right now, going into the uh, hammer press. So, we started off fairly light with 220s either side and we're just exploding up and then going back re relatively slowly during the eccentric movement. Um, just trying to keep that muscle under tension for a little bit longer. And then again, adding on the weight, which will be additional 20 kilos either side. So 40 on each hand and we're just driving up and then down slowly during the eccentric. You know, this exercise felt pretty good. It's just more of that flat bench where it was really, really uh, triggering, like, triggering my... Uh, that, that tightness in my in that insurgent uh, of my pectoral. Uh, I think I felt it a little bit in this exercise, but a lot of the lifting did feel a lot heavier than normal. Um, but yeah, you know, we just gotta keep working on that. And that's one of the areas where I feel like a lot of bodybuilders or a lot of lifters uh, don't do enough of is stretching. So um, what I need to start doing now after my workouts is maybe spend like, maybe like, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, like proper stretching out the, uh, the muscle. Because obviously when you're lifting weights, um, you know, you're shortening the muscle. And by stretching, you lengthen that muscle out and allowing the recovery to, uh, you know, occur a little bit better. And once you get back to the gym, train that muscle group again, you know, the muscles all fully stretched out and loosened and, you know, it should be a better gym session next time. And theoretically, you should be able to get better range of motion. Um, going into one of my favorite exercises now, and that is the calf flies. Uh, I, you know, I've been watching a lot of Josh Bridgman on his, you know, in his YouTube videos, as well as George, um, I think it's George Osborne, um, you know, they utilize this type of workout a lot with the cuffs, and I'll tell you now, it is way better. You know, a lot of time when you're using, like, uh, like handles and stuff, because you hold it, hold it on the grip, uh, I feel like my forearms always seem to, like, give way before, like, my actual, uh, my actual pecs. With this, I feel like I get a better contraction, I can get, you know, a few more repetitions out of it before my, you know, my muscles start fatiguing. And I couldn't recommend this exercise enough for you guys. Um, go get yourself some cuffs, you know, go buy some R, what's it called? Go buy some 1RM cuffs or go get some uh, hard body cuffs. Uh, you know, they're going to be good, reliable cuffs for you guys to buy. And I'll tell you now, it's day and night difference between these exercises, you know, with the, the handles and the cuffs. So we are continuing the pec flies, but we increase the height of the pec flies. So it's a bit more of a neutral, uh, roughly around shoulder height. So last time it was a incline. This is a bit more of a neutral. So we're going to cross the chest and get that good contraction in the chest. And we're going back nice and slowly. Uh, we're pretty much going into like a two, one, three, one kind of tempo. So we're going up for two, holding for one, and then back for three, uh, nice and slowly, just so we can allow that stretch and that time and attention in the muscle. Um, again, I can't stress this enough, like buy some cuffs, do these flies with, uh, you know, seated with a bench. Um, honestly, it's the day and night difference compared to when you're standing up using the handles and even using the, uh, and using the, uh, the cuffs, uh, having that back assisted off from the bench just allows you to just focus on that chest a little bit more. Going into the last and final exercise, and it's just going to be a little bit of an arm pump on the biceps. A lot of people do train their triceps with their pectorials, but with me, I find that when I do my chest sessions, I do quite a lot of volume within my sessions and quite a heavy weight too. So by the time I want to get to, let's say, the tricep workout, my triceps are completely fatigued. So I just don't have the energy nor the reps to actually, like, you know, hopefully work out the, uh, the triceps to its full potential. So that's why I'm doing some biceps. 
uh, bicep curls on the preacher curls using the, uh, the easy bar. And we're just going to get some repetitions out, going for about 12 repetitions, I believe, on the uh, with 10 plates either side. I think the bar weighs maybe 5 kilos. So in total, that's about, what, 20, 25 kg uh, with the easy bar, maybe 30 kilos. I'm not too sure. But yeah, guys, this is a wrap of the YouTube video. This is the end of the workout. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's YouTube video, be sure to drop a like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. It will mean the world to me because, one, it helps the channel grow. And, two, you guys stay notified with all new videos. And before you click off today's YouTube video, I've got a physique update for you guys. So feel free to check it out right now.